Hey everybody, this is example number one for mechanics of materials covering torsion. The problem statement that we have is the solid circular shaft shown below uh, experiences an internal torque of T equals 10 kilonewton meters and we need to find the shear stress at points A and B. So here's our solid circular shaft and we have some type of internal torque here equal to 10 kilonewton meters and the torque is about the longitudinal axis of this shaft and we need to find uh, the shear stress at point A and at point B and the radius of the circular cross section is equal to 50 millimeters and point B the distance from the center of the cross section of point B is equal to 40 millimeters so the first thing we're going to do is calculate the polar moment of inertia and we denote it as j and it's equal to pi over 2 times c to the fourth power and c is the outer radius of the circular cross section so as we showed in the figure the outer radius is equal to 50 millimeters and that's equal to 0.05 meters so pi over 2 times pi over 2 times 0.05 meters to the fourth power and that equals, let me see, I made a spreadsheet for this example. And so j is equal to 9.82 times 10 to the negative 6 meters to the fourth power. j equals 9.82 times 10 to the negative 6, and that's meters to the fourth. And by the way, you can access the spreadsheets uh, at our website at engineeringexamples.net. So once we've calculated the polar moment of inertia, J, now we're going to calculate the shear stress at location A. And so the shear stress, the general formula for the shear stress due to torsion uh, uh, in, a, in a shaft is equal to the torque times the radial distance from the center of the cross section divided by J. And since since uh, point A is located uh, is located on the edge, it's is located at the outer at the edge of this circular cross section at the outer radius. Essentially, we can say that the shear stress is equal to the internal torque times the outer radius C divided by J. And so we just plug in the numbers. The torque. Uh, the torque I just co I converted from kilonewtons to newtons, newton meters, so 10 times 10 to the third power. And then C, the outer radius is equal to 0 0.05 meters. And J, we just calculated equal to 9.82 times 10 to the negative 6 meters to the fourth power. And so the shear stress is equal to, shear stress at A is equal to 50, 50 million uh, around 51 million pascals, so about 50.93 megapascals. 50.93 megapascals. And lastly, we can calculate the shear stress at location B. And again, we use the same formula. It's going to be the shear stress is equal to the internal torque. Uh, the torque multiplied by the radial distance from the center of the cross section to the location we're interested in divided by j so the the torque value is 10 times 10 to the ter uh, 10 times 10 to the third newton meters same as we did in the previous calculation and j is also the same value the only difference is the radial distance so the radial distance as we showed in the figure from the from the center of the cross section to point b is 40 millimeters and that's equal to 0.04 meters. So the shear stress at location B is equal to uh, 40,743,665 pascals. So about 40.74 megapascals. 40.74 megapascals. And so this is the end of this example. Please subscribe to the channel and visit our website at engineeringexamples.net. Thanks.